So today we will discuss about the production technology of pantry. So one by one we completed all the uh, spices crops, and after that we will discuss about the different uh, medicinal crops. So first is pantry. So its botanical name is Trigonilla penum gracium, and it belongs to the family. Fabiaceae and its species is T. Fonin gracium and its local name is Methi. So it is a brief uh, classification of pantry. So you should uh, uh, know what is the botanical name and uh, uh, from which family uh, pantry belongs and what uh, is its species and uh, what are its uh, local names. So this is a brief uh, uh, classification of pantry. After uh, the classification of fenugreek, there is a uh, history. So uh, fenugreek is a native of West Asia and Mediterranean area. It was one of the species used for emblaming and the Greeks and Romans used it for cattle fodder. So uh, in the <clears throat> Greeks and Roman uh, uh, years, uh, we use uh, they use uh, fenugreek as a fodder for cattle to feed their cattle. Uh, so it is also the native of uh, West West Asian Mediterranean areas. Next are the producing countries. So India, out of uh, all the countries, uh, India is the largest producer of fenugreek among uh, uh, the uh, countries in the world. After that, uh, China play, uh, took place at second place, and uh, after China, there is Korea, Spain, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Egypt. So these are the producing countries. Out of these uh, producing countries, India is the largest producer of fenugreek. Next are the varieties. So uh, first variety of fenugreek uh, uh, is Kasuri. Second one is Methi number forty-seven. The third one is Methi number fourteen, and uh, last one is EC4911. So these are the different varieties of fenugreek. Next are the botanical uh, botanical description. So first of all, leaves. So how the leaves look like uh, of fenugreek? It has trifoliate. So you can see that uh, uh, there is a, uh, on a single stem or single uh, stem. There is a three leaf. Yeah, so that's why this is called trifoliate. It is obovate and two third light green in color. So, uh, methi or fenugreek leaves are light green in color and they are trifoliate. Next is its stem. So, its stem is erect, long, and tender. So, you can see that stem is, stem is very tender, very soft. And it is green in color, and it, it is lo uh, located and erected stem. Next is how its flower looks like. So the flowers of fenugreek are yellow, white in color, and they are occurring singly uh, or in pairs at the leaf axis. So uh, uh, when uh, when the maturity time. Uh, comes closer, uh, then they produce uh, uh, yellow, white colored flowers. They are singly or they are peeled, uh, they are they are appearing pairs at the leaf axis. Next are the medicinal uses. So what are the medicinal uses of fenugreek? So uh, it has been used for brain, skin, liver and metabolic disorder. So it helps to uh, cure the brain, skin, liver and metabolic disorder in the human. It is highly beneficial for respiratory and digestive problem. It also uh, help to digest our food very well. It is a highly powerful female herb. It helps in relaxing the uterus and releasing menstrual pains. And it is an excellent stimulator of milk production uh, during nursing mother. So this is an, another uh, very beneficial uh, uses of fenugreek. Is it is uh, used as a female herb. So in menstrual pains, it helps to relax in the uterus and it also acts as a stimulator uh, for producing milk production during nursing. 
next uh, it has an another uh, uses uh, in regarding to weight loss so it helps to uh, lose weight it also uses in different blood conditions such as anemia nervous system disorder reduces fever lower cholesterol level good for eyes and uses for allergies cough cold flu swelling so these are the different uh, uses of uh, fenugreek so it is also used for anemia which have an uh, eye deficiency uh, nervous system disorder it also helps to reduce our fever uh, it also lowers down our cholesterol level and it is very good for our eyesight and it also cure certain types of uh, skin allergies cough cold flu swelling etc next is the production technology so fenugreek uh, can be produced by seed bed preparation so for seed bed preparation land should be ploughed two to three times followed by planting to prepare fine seed bed so uh, before sowing or before uh, sowing of sowing seeds of uh, fenugreek uh, first of all land should be uh, ploughed two to three times and after that it should be leveled by planting and uh, and it helps to prepare a fine seed bed so any type of soil growths that are present in that seed bed should be broken and uh, stubbles of previous crop should be removed is compulsory so it is very compulsory to grow up all the growths available on the uh, field the seed bed and also remove these stubbles of uh, previous crops that that create a hindrance in the germination of uh, fenugreek seeds so there are two methods of sowing of fenugreek first is, first one is broadcast method or second one is line sowing so in broadcast method uh, we uh, we uh, generally spread seeds uh, unevenly spread seeds over the uh, uh, field uh, and in line sowing we uh, we pour a certain amount of seed in a line or in a row uh, between a certain space next is sowing time and sowing rate so its sowing time is uh, uh, between 15 october to 15 november so it is the best sowing time of fenugreek best time is 15 november because that time the, the, the temperature uh, comes decreases and uh, <coughs> there is a uh, there is a cold in uh, weather so it requires uh, 10 to 15 kg of seeds per hectare so for the production of fenugreek we need uh, 10 to 15 kg of seeds per hectare so from per hectare you can calculate a uh, seed requirement for per acre so before sowing the seed should be soaked in water for 6 to 8 hours and dried in a shade before sowing so uh, it is necessary to soak all the seeds uh, in uh, for 6 to 8 hours in water and uh, after draining water we should uh, uh, dried uh, all the seeds in a shade. Then is spacing. So its row to row spacing is thirty centimeter, and its plant to plant spacing is <laughs> eight to ten centimeter. Then is application of fertilizer and manure. So uh, for the production of fenugreek, we need forty kg of nitrogen per hectare. 20 kg of phosphorus per hectare. So half of the nitrogen, that is 20 kg of nitrogen, and full dose of phosphorus, that is 20 kg of phosphorus per hectare, should be applied as basal dose. That means should be applied at the time of sowing. And remaining 20 kg of nitrogen after 30 days or so. So uh, we can split down uh, the total dose of nitrogen into two split ends. So first half is uh, applied at the time of sowing or at, as a basal dose. Second half uh, is applied at uh, after thirty days or so. So uh, for its uh, uh, the total amount of farmyard manure is required ten to fifteen uh, metric ton. So ten to fifteen metric ton farmyard manure is required for the the uh, good germination or good growth of a fenugreek. After uh, uh, application of fertilizers and manure, uh, next is irrigation. So the first irrigation, uh, as we know, the first irrigation is uh, automatically given after uh, sowing, just given after sowing, or immediately given after sowing, and uh, later the subsequent irrigations uh, are uh, are given at a 
seventh to ten days interval. So there are four to six irrigations are required in the whole life cycle of land. Next is weeding. So two to three weedings are required to fend the crop. First should be done at about 20 to 25 days after sowing. So two to three weedings are required to fend the crop. So uh, first one is doing the after 20 to 25 days after sowing when, uh, when we see the germination of weeds in the field. Next is harvesting. So uh, crop becomes ready for harvesting in about 120. So total life cycle of fenugreek crop is about 120 to 150 uh, days. So at that time, uh, uh, crop should be ready to harvest at the time of ripening. So <laughs> when the crop start ripening, uh, their leaves and wounds become yellowish and leaves st uh, start falling. So, uh, after flowering stage, when the uh, when the pores are coming on the uh, plant of fenugreek, they are filled with uh, numbers of seeds of fenugreek. At that time, uh, the ripening stage will start, and at that stage, the leaves of fenugreek and the hulls they become yellowish green color and they start falling down. So timely harvest is harvesting is very important for this crop as late harvesting leads to seed losses due to poor rusting. If we uh, delay harvesting, uh, then there is a, a condition that uh, we, lo we lose all the seeds because of poor bursting. Because at the late maturity, the pores of a uh, penitentiary crop become burst and all the seeds uh, are lost. So, whereas in early harvest, the grain may come immature and small, or there should be no uh, immature uh, harvesting or no late maturing harvesting because in both conditions we lose uh, seeds. So, in early mature, early harvesting, we uh, lo uh, lost all the seeds because they are uh, at that time they are immature and they are very small in size. And in late harvesting, time they become uh, lost due to uh, hot bursting. So uh, harvesting should be at a time, at timely day and uh, it is uh, uh, nearly about 120 to 150 days after soon. Next are the diseases. So there are two important diseases of pandemic crop are root rot. Root rot can be controlled by soil application of neem tea at the rate 150 gram per hectare and seed treatment with trichoderma variety at the rate 4 gram per kg of seed and drenching with carbonatism uh, with 0.5 gram per liter or copper oxychloride with 2 gram per liter. So to control the root, root rot, first we have to apply the neem cake uh, that is controlled by soil application. Neem cake uh, uh, provide in the soil at the rate of 150 gram per hectare, uh, 150 kg hoga. So uh, there is uh, wrong in this uh, value. So 150 kg per hectare, whereas uh, uh, we should, uh, we also do uh, some seed treatment up to so before sowing. So seed uh, should be treated with trichoderma variety at the rate 4 gram per kg of seeds and drenching with uh, carb uh, carbonism. Uh, with 0.5 gram per liter or copper oxychloride that is 2 gram per liter. After root rot, the another important disease of fenugreek is powdery mildew. So for powdery, powdery mildew, dust sulfur. So we can uh, simply dust sulfur uh, at 25 kg per hectare of foliar spray with vegetable sulfur. So if you want to uh, spray something, so we uh, spray vegetable sulfur that is 2 gram per liter at the time of appearance of disease. So when we uh, know um, the symptoms or when we uh, see the symptoms of powdery mildew, that time we dust sulfur at the rate of 25 kg per hectare or we can foliar spray with vegetable sulfur that is 2 gram per liter at the time of appearance of disease. Next is this last one is, uh, is its yield. So the yield of green leaves, uh, if we harvest uh, fenugreek uh, in leafy stage, or it's case, uh, say that uh, in green stage, then its uh, yield is 4,000 to uh, 5,000 kg per hectare. Or if we want to harvest 
uh, harvest family for its grains, then its yield is high, uh, 500 to 700 kg per hectare. So this is all about the production, uh, or you can say that the cultivation of fenugreek. 